Okay, so I kind of want to do just like this small discussion video because, um, you know, what's going on with the credit card poll, but, you know, I um, had this thought, honestly, it was last night while I was laying in bed, I had this thought came to me. Um, I think I figured out uh, the insector support that they need to, that they need to make. Uh, it's quite funny because, you know, I posted in Zodiac Duelist, um, I was kind of just like, you know, man, if Insectors win this shit, I need a search card, blah, 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 because I need to be able to search my hornets and dragonflies and etc. And then someone actually commented on that and they said, no, it should be a search spell, but it, also, it should also send one to grave. And I was kind of like, okay, that's good, but that's not it either. And the more I thought about it, I realized that, you know, they've already made um, the, the card. They, they already have made it, but it's for the wrong archetype. So, um... Real quick, I'd kind of just like to go through uh, and just talk about the Insector Core just very briefly. So, you know, it's the three Dragonfly, three Centipede, you know, three Hornet, um, some number of Gigamanus, and then you actually have to play this card because the reason that these are so important is these guys uh, trigger off of Link Summon. I mean, uh, the the Revival effect triggers off Link Summon, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can you can equip this from hand as many times as you want. So, I mean, like, with the uh, three, is that caliber, it's, uh, you know, just may I have some loops, brother. So, um, you know, I play the one of this, and, you know, I feel like if we get more support, you might not even have to play this card anymore. At least the card that I'm going to describe, my, my Yu-Gi-Oh! Custom Card Maker Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, <laughs> but, yeah, so, you know, these... These cards here, these uh, three cards, are going to create a loop for you so that you can never run out of, you know, uh, fodder to destroy for your, um, your, your insector monsters, you know, your hornets, or excuse me, your uh, centipedes and dragonflies. And while this card, uh, I feel like people think this card's bad, but that's just incorrect. This card can kind of solve the problem because, you know, the, the glaring issue that I have with the deck is... You know, you'll you'll um, open Dragonfly or whatever, but you won't have access to Hornet, and Hornet is what's really gonna set everything up for you. So uh, this can get you Hornet, and also this has a um, Digusto Emerald-like effect, which can add to your whole. May I have some loops, brother? So I figured it out. I figured it out, and I'll tell you. Um, I'll tell you what it is in just a moment. Uh, they did give us this a while back, and this has been reprinted by now. And while this is uh, a, quite a good card, because this has a uh, you know a shuffle draw effect as well, it honestly just isn't exactly what we need. Because you know you figure when activating this, you have to play an insector, you have to equip it with a card, and then you have to use this. Because you know the idea behind this and like insect imitation is, uh, I open like. Ladybug Hornet, but I want Dragonfly, so this is going to fix that, but, you know, one Ash Blossom and you're done for. And that's the problem with the deck, is, you know, one Imperm, one Ash Blossom, etc., you are done for. It's just kind of been power crept at this point. But, the solution to that is actually in this card. This is the card that Insectors need. Dragoonities, while while they take this with, with open arms, this is not what they needed. Uh... And Zectors need this card. So let me just kind of paint a scenario for you real quick. So if you don't know what this does, uh, it says you can equip only to a Dragoonity monster. It gains the blow, uh, 100 attack times the level, unaffected by traps. During the main phase, you can equip one Dragon-type Dragoonity tuner from your deck to the monster that was equipped to this card, yada yada, only once per turn. So now let me go ahead and replace everything about this card that says Dragoonity with Insectors. That's amazing. Mostly the unaffected by trap effects. That would be very nice. Now, we don't need that. All I'm asking for, is, or the attack boost, but I feel like the attack boost is very much an insector thing that they would do. Um, but all I'm asking for is equip only to an insector monster, equi equip one insector monster from your deck to uh, to the, you know, the targeted monster, and that's all we need. Because this card, the, the beauty of this card in Dragoonities is this card cannot be Ash Blossomed. While they can still Ash Blossom my Dragonfly, uh, you might actually even be able to chain block it. Actually, I think you could. You, I believe you definitely could chain block it with um, with all of this going on. No, wait, you couldn't. <laughs> I don't know, but that's that's beyond the point. Um, just moving on. So what this what this would do for insectors? 
So I'm going to go ahead and say that I normal summon my Dragonfly and I'm going to equip my Insector Equip card that will allow me to equip my Hornet from deck. So I'm going to equip my Hornet and I'm going to use the Hornet and I'm going to pop this card. So now we'll get Double Dragonfly. So Double Dragonfly means we can get 100 Fluver and get 100 Fluver. So with uh, with cards like, you know, Gigamanus, with cards like Sword being in the deck, you know, with, with cards like you know, Ultra Evolution being in the deck. Uh, this, doing this sequence, getting the double centipede, already kind of mitigates this card so that we can go for an additional Dragonfly or whatever. But, you know, you figure if you have Sword, you know, you can, uh, or whatever, Giga Manus or however, because basically the way I'm looking at this is if I have Sword, I'm going to equip the Sword and then I'm going to use the centipede and I'm going to pop, I'm going to pop here and then we're going to go ahead and get Giga Manus. And then we're going to special summon another centipede from the deck. So you can get the third centipede. Right? So follow? Okay, so we'll, we'll add this with this and then we'll special summon that guy. And then we can equip this to Dragonfly. Right? So then we can use the second centipede. We can destroy this. We can go get, you know, whatever we want. If we do still even play the ladybug or whatever, you can go get another guy. You can add another sword. And then, you know, you can link off the two of these, right, whatever, you can make your Pico Felina, or whatever it is, <laughs> I don't know what I did with it, but you can make the Pico Felina, you know, you don't have to use its effect on summon, I don't think so, oh yeah, it is on Link Summon, but, um, you know, basically what I'm saying is, I kind of really don't have anything figured out yet, because the card's not, it doesn't exist, but I think that is what could solve the problem with Insectors, because, you know, right, right now, um, what the deck that I had together was like, I mean, this card's just completely trash. I'm just going to go ahead and put that out there. But I was playing it with this engine. And, you know, what this deck can do is, is uh, w what it's supposed to do, at least, is the Metal Foes Insector deck is supposed to Extra Link. But, I mean, while, while Extra Link has gotten much weaker with the uh, addition of Master Roll 5, but that's fine. I mean, Extra Link boards are still, like, Nightmare boards with Avermax and, like, Trigate. But... The, the the problem is is like you know it's just not very consistent. That's because it's you, you need you need to have you know it's either one of these and you know it's a it's a, it's a hornet. So you have to have like this and a metal foe. So it's like all three card combos. You have to have something along the lines of like this or you know this is interchangeable with with uh, the dragonfly. The metal foe is interchangeable with any metal foe card, but. Yeah, that, that kind of whole thing is, you know, can, can turn into an extra link. More often than not, this will turn into an extra link. But, you know, the problem lies is not only is it not consistent, but it's just quite fragile. And, you know, another thing about, you know, my custom create a card, <laughs> my Insector Divine Lance type card, is that can bypass the fact that the only thing that is once per turn about uh, the Insector monsters is the fact that you can only equip by their own effect once. You can equip from Hand or Grave once. That is, um... Not hard once, it's once per copy, because nothing is once per turn about these cards. Nothing is truly once per turn about these cards. But, you know, if we get negged on the equip, we can just be like, okay, well, I'll play this card, and then I'll go get another horn out of my deck, and then we can go to Happy Fun Land. But, you know, I'm not really too sure how impactful that would really be. I mean, this is obviously all, like, theoretical, and I kind of... Like I said, I don't really have, like, a super big grasp of, like, what exactly I would do. But all I'm saying is... This can enable you to shit out all your centipedes. If this card existed, it would enable you to shit out all of your centipedes with the greatest of ease, so that you could then turn them into Pico Felina, so that you could then do more link plays, and then you could shuffle all your centipedes back, you know, and um, like I said, you know, the Giga Manus and the Giga Weevil will trigger off Link Summon, so, you know, when you're about to link off the Dragonfly, you equip either one of these, so whenever you link it off, it'll just come back. Everything is reset on this card. The equip is reset, you know, you, you can reset all your centipedes so you may have some loops brother but you know i just kind of wanted to get this out of out of that excuse me i just kind of want to get this out there if i could fucking spit it out but yeah i know i've kind of rambled here for about 10 minutes but yeah that's kind of all that i had for you guys i feel like it could you know they need to make something very similar to this uh foreign sectors to really try to push it to you know being some sort of competitively viable so you know you just kind of burn the clock and then you summon this thing and then you can burn your opponent in, in game in game three uh <laughs> but yeah that's all i got for you guys um maybe i'm just a fangirl probably just a fangirl didn't even have to make this video but i just I had to get it out <laughs> so i guess i'll catch you next time sims